What's the matter with you? You have one million people marching. And you would not stop. Then when you saw the fighting, bloodshed, you know, the day you stop, does it mean that every time people have to fight? No meio de tanta coisa acontecendo no Brasil, é difícil imaginar que a gente pode pensar em Hong Kong. Até que essa foto apareceu. E cada ponto dela me faz pensar em alguma coisa. Foi aí que a gente tentou descobrir o que está acontecendo em Hong Kong. Not just Hong Kong people. If you happen to be uh, passing through Hong Kong and you're somehow wanted in China, you could be extradited back to mainland China. And this thing started because of a homicide case. Uh, last year, a Hong Kong couple uh, went to Taiwan for holiday and the man killed the woman. The Taiwanese government warned Hong Kong to send the man back to Taiwan for trial and because Hong Kong has no arrangement for extradition so we cannot do it so Carrie Lam came up with this idea and uh, the people simply didn't have uh, the trust nor the confidence in China's court or judicial or legal uh, systems so uh, we put on uh, very uh, big protests <laughs> But uh, the city leader, Carrie Lam, she couldn't care less about uh, how many millions of people taking to the street uh, to oppose uh, this uh, thing. Uh, she could pass it anyway. Beijing would be happy. She's not popularly elected by Hong Kong people. She's basically selected by Beijing. How can people in Hong Kong have freedom of speech and but live in a dictatorship? Well, Hong Kong is a very funny place. Before 97, we were a British colony. Na metade do século XIX, a Inglaterra passou a traficar cada vez mais ópio proibido no território chinês para bancar a compra de chá dos próprios chineses, que, é claro, não ficaram nada contentes com a situação. As duas nações então protagonizaram a tal Guerra do Ópio, em que os ingleses saíram vitoriosos e fizeram um bando de exigências, dentre elas a posse da ilha de Hong Kong. Em julho de 97, a primeira-ministra Margaret Thatcher devolveu Hong Kong à China. Good job with Hong Kong. I think Britain has done a good job for Hong Kong and a good job for the world. Don't be afraid, but China will take you back in 97. But don't be afraid because we will not send communist cadres to come and run Hong Kong. You Hong Kong people will run Hong Kong under the concept of one country, two systems. Quando eles dizem um país, dois sistemas, na prática quer dizer que a China opera sobre um regime comunista autoritário, enquanto que Hong Kong é uma região semi-autônoma. Quando o território foi devolvido à China em 97, ficou combinado que o povo teria direito às liberdades democráticas, assim como em qualquer outro país. É um território chinês, mas que tem seu próprio regimento, portanto é livre para tomar suas decisões em tudo, quase tudo. So that's the promise. In, uh, in June, early June, we have demonstration of 1 million people. Hong Kong only has a population of 7 million, but 1 million came out to demonstrate, but very peaceful. Not one bottle was broken. No shop window was broken. Very peaceful. And then suddenly when they were marching, there was an ambulance and the people just spread out. 
like you know, like Moses in the Red Sea, divided <laughs> the ocean and allow the ambulance to pass. Very, very peaceful. As manifestações em Hong Kong desse ano se intensificaram em junho e levaram milhares de jovens a estarem na linha de frente dos protestos. O governo chinês respondeu chamando os manifestantes de terroristas e se utiliza cada vez mais da violência para reprimir os manifestantes e enfraquecer o movimento. That's the most absurd. There's nothing the, the terror. There's nothing about terror in this movement as far as the uh, protesters are concerned. What is really terrible is our uh, police brutality, which has become so transparent uh, via uh, press footage and uh, uh, press photos. That you just cannot deny the fact that the police brutality is now plentiful in Hong Kong. Após a repressão chinesa e a violência policial, os manifestantes passaram a cantar aleluia durante os protestos, fazendo parecer que a manifestação tem motivação religiosa, já que a liberdade de culto é garantida em Hong Kong. Fellow citizens, for more than two months, protests arising from the Fugitive Offenders Bill have continued. Our citizens, police and reporters have been injured during violent incidents. I announced that the bill was suspended and later reiterated that the bill is dead and that all the legislative work had come to a complete halt. What's the matter with you? You have one million people marching and you would not stop. Then when you saw the fighting, bloodshed, you know, the day you stop, does it mean that every time people have to fight and be hurt, you know, if we are peaceful, you will not listen. So the people were so angry. It is obvious to many that this contentment extends far beyond the bill. This is a direct challenge to one country, two systems have put Hong Kong in a highly vulnerable and dangerous situation. Três meses depois de muita repressão policial, dezenas de feridos e centenas de processados pelo Estado, a primeira ministra Carrie Lam assumiu seu erro e disse que a lei de extradição está derrubada. Mesmo com a lei derrubada, os manifestantes prometem não parar. A luta deles agora é por democracia. Ok, you want uh, this uh, controversial bill go away? Now I have disappeared this bill it's gone away so we all go back to normal no more uh, protests and so on the young wouldn't let go because they want uh, more changes some fundamental uh, changes in our systems and society and really for god's sake in hong kong we're talking about a large bunch of young people trying to fight for democracy for genuine high degree of autonomy that was promised to the city and you think uh, uh, you can treat them as just uh, like the, the drug traffickers and it's completely justified this is unconscionable we are in a small world in the future if there's something you want us to speak up you contact us too and we live in a global village things like human rights rule of law, personal safety. They just do not fall like manna from heaven. These are the things you have to fight for. And to fight, you have to be vigilant, eternally vigilant. Because today, you may be free. Like when several months ago, people thought Hong Kong was very good. Who would have thought? So you have to always be vigilant to safeguard your rights. And as we all know, there are people in many countries which are suffering from fascism, from authoritarian rule. And I mean, you had an election. Uh, President Bolsonaro was elected, was it? He was not chosen by 1,200 people, like in Hong Kong. So you have periodic election against the virtue of democracy. Because democracy does not guarantee that the wisest person, the best person, 
will always stop the government. No! Democracy will only guarantee you have periodic elections. You, you have an election, you choose whoever you like. Ah, Bolsonaro is elected, but he will not serve forever. So if you people don't like him, then you help. You work with people on the other side and get, make sure you get somebody else. And that's democracy. You have democracy. So you are years ahead of us. Some, uh, someone came to me and said, Oh, Ms. Lau, uh, you want to fight for democracy. And do you know what democracy is for? I said, what? What is it for? Oh, democracy is there to protect our freedoms. But we are so free. So why do we need it? <laughs> I said, you go to hell. <laughs>